What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Parkinson. In this episode, we're going to talk about getting free albums, music albums, as well as a few other free things. Now, every week, Google likes to release a some sort of free application or fr normally free music as well uh, to the general population. And all you need to do is have the Google Play Music uh, application download, and that's all you need. And then you can just keep storing them. So the way it works is if you just open up the Google Play Store, you'll just scroll on down, and you'll see, obviously, this week's best deals. But then there will also be a free album of the week. So this week, it's a country album. And all you need to do is go ahead and tap on it, or you can tap the little three dots, and it'll ask you to buy or purchase. Now, you do need to have a credit card logged in, so you need to do that first. Uh, you can use, I believe, a prepaid uh, card also. Uh, it will not charge you, of course, but you do need to put that in there uh, because the way this is set up and the way you add the music to your library is it's going to act like it's being charged to your account, but re in reality, it's not going to. It just goes through the same process. Uh, otherwise, it'd be probably hectic to have two separate processes. This way, they just make it so it costs zero cents, and so you just purchase it in that sense. And that's it when it comes to the free album. Now, obviously, when you click on the free album and you like what it is, you can hit the more. And it's going to give you similar stuff from the artist or similar artists with that as well. And so you can kind of get into that if you're into that. Uh, you can also scroll down a little bit more and you'll see something else, which is usually like an exclusive. So, for example, this one is going to be Hail to the King, which I believe is a um, Avenged Sevenfold version of a game. And it's only 49 cents. But then you can also go and buy the album, which is the themed album for it, the soundtrack. And you can get it for 99 cents. And as you can see, each song is normally $1.29. Uh, normally, they will do that for $1.29 will be a per purchase. Uh, sometimes, though, the album itself is usually like $2, $3. So it ends up being cheaper to buy just the initial album than going and buying each individual song. And that's it when it comes to trying to get free albums. Now make sure you do check back on a weekly basis, or you can go ahead and sign up for the Google uh, notifications where it'll let you know via email. Uh, that normally happens when you log into some sort of an account or a Google account. And when you log into your Google account for the first time, let's say on your Android device, even when you factory reset your device and log back into it, It'll ask you, do you want to get notifications or do you want to get email reminders from exclusives from Google? And that's how you're going to do that. But to be honest with you, I usually open up the Play Store on a weekly basis and find out about the free stuff before I even get the email. And I get that usually about a day or two in advance. Now, that's not saying that the, I'm getting this free album in advance. It's just that it takes the email usually two or three days to hit my inbox. Could be different for everybody, but that's just how it is for me. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.